Good morning, my titillating bagpipe. I've just seen this video on TikTok. I'm not a pronouns type of guy. I think it's, I think it's silly. Having said that, I have never seen a video that's more pronouns in bio than this one. I wanted to add this bit in because it, it I wouldn't say something to someone's face to try and be harmful. So like if someone, you know, if I'm talking to someone and they're like, actually my, I, if you don't mind, I would prefer to be, go by whatever, like pronouns, something else. I'm not going to like laugh in their face. I'm going to be like, okay, well, I'll get along to go along, go along to get along. I can still stand by my viewpoint. Like I can still share my viewpoint, but in someone's face, I'm not going to, I'm not going to just say something to be mean for no reason. But it feels, it feels so different talking on to a camera. It doesn't feel like I'm talking to a person. And well, and yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm talking to a person. Kind of just like this whole thing feels like I'm just sharing my thoughts. And if people are watching, I know like you all don't have the same opinions. So the way I see it is I'm just like sharing my opinion, the way I would do things, the way I think. And if you get upset by it, like, that's a shame. But unless what I said was like intentionally just targeting you and rude, I think, I think that's something for you to work through. Like there's no reason that you should be offended by something that I say. I, I, yeah, I just don't feel like I'm going to say something that's meant to be super offensive. I, that's just not the person I am. But I'll stand by my views. Okay, cool. I saw Apple Vision Pro got released. I did see a Casey video. I've typed, I've just typed YouTube into YouTube. Good start. I don't have long, uh, but I will say that, I don't know why I'm stating it like that. We not, not weird situation, but current situation at the hospital with the little man is that Shay's going to be there essentially like for the next two days, next 48 hours at least. It feels weird to say, but just like breastfeeding. Like when I go, obviously I have to bottle feed him and we're trying to essentially just prove to the hospital they're on our side too. Like we're same side together. We're trying to prove that like he can feed on his own. That's the point that we're at. And so I'm going to be looking after Ruger, so I'm really not going to have any time to focus on this. And I want to focus on him, obviously, because things are weird for him. But in the short time I have, I wanted to watch Casey's Vision Pro, like Apple Vision Pro video. So let's watch it together. Start and stop. So the dude in this video, he just got fired from his job. And the it's a long video, but the essence of it is... He wanted to go pick up something. He wanted to take some time off from, sorry. He wanted to take 20 minutes out of his retail job to go and pick something up. He asked the owner if he could do it, which was apparently his friend. The owner said like, are you crazy? No, like we need someone to run the store. This guy gets extremely upset. Him and the manager are going at it back and forth. The manager tries to apologize a couple of times and the employee is like, no, this is a huge deal for me. You really messed me up. I'm not sure I can get past this. Eventually, the employer is just like, okay, then you're gone. But this guy, and this really leads back into the book, The Inner Work. <laughs> He's complaining about how the actions of the employer are making him feel and how crappy he feels. And he wants the employer to know all of that. And there was a part of me while I was watching it was like, uh, good for you for sharing your opinions and your thoughts. But then I started thinking about it a bit more and I realized that actually this guy is stuck in this place that I have very recent, up until very recently have been stuck in, which now makes me better than him. Right, because I've learned this. I don't like to do stupid things like that. He is allowing someone else's viewpoint on things to
to directly affect the way that he feels and how he deals with something. Like from this book, I'm starting to get this understanding. Like I have this belief that you can control all your emotions from within. But I'm now really starting to overcome this hurdle of seeing other people's, uh, we'll call them traits and characteristics because previously I would have called them bad qualities. But like, let's say someone who isn't very, someone who doesn't reply to emails, uh, someone who doesn't pay enough attention to things. Like this manager recently that has been ghosting me. I've been like thinking about that. I've been internalizing that. And like, why are you doing this to me? Like, how could you do that to me? When really, that's nothing to do with me. I do feel like we can have an impact on the way people decide to treat us. So like, let's say you could possibly put it that, and I, I feel, I still feel like this is very valuable. I haven't provide, I haven't yeah, provided or shown that I'm valuable enough to this guy to warrant the services that he has to offer. Now, I don't look at that and think I'm failing. I think, interesting, how do I change my pitch? How do I change the way I communicate to increase my perceived level of value? That's, that's a very interesting point that actually it's not about how valuable I am. It's about my perceived level of value. I do think I'm very valuable. What am I trying to say? I feel that I can provide a huge amount of value. But perhaps I'm not very good at communicating that level of value so that someone perceives that same level of value. Is that right? Is that the right way I want to think about it? I'm not sure. Either way, while I think about that, <laughs> this video was very much that this guy is absorbing that energy and then internalizing it and allowing someone else's opinion to impact the way he is. Dude, I have him so nasally. I've been, I've been nasally for like two, three, two weeks now at least. I have to go back on a mullein cleanse, a lung cleanse. It just, it feels like it's all stuck, like right in here. I just can't clear it no matter, no matter what I do at the moment. It's very interesting to see a difference in perspective in this now. Like now that I can see that other people's actions and behavior shouldn't impact me or like I should, I should be able to manage almost like having a filter around myself of like, I think this is the way I think about it. Someone says something negative or does something negative that I perceive to be negative. And there's, yeah, there's a barrier, there's a filter. And before it comes to me, I can review it, <laughs> review it, see how I feel about it, try and analyze myself to think, could I have done this better? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Uh, maybe I could have said that differently. And, like, and look at it as a, a learning process of becoming a better person, becoming an improved version of who I am. Because now I'm starting to move away from this feeling, no. 
here's how I see you pro how you progress through life. You're at this human level and every experience you have can add or take away from the human you are like actually this again changed this morning with reading chapter three you are born as this human right so everyone is born as a human and it's our experiences that uh, alter the type of human we become like how we see the world which is obviously why we're all so unique oh man now I'm thinking about this again I actually don't know how to okay let's, I'll explain what I was reading Essentially, it was, imagine yourself at five years old, like you just were having fun, there was no care in the world, you didn't really have a view on life, you didn't really have too many experiences, you didn't understand it. And as you go through life, all those experiences change who that five-year-old is, becomes, how they think, whatever they do. Is it possible to get back to that five-year-old state. But like, what's the benefit? What's the benefit of being in that five-year-old state where yes, you have, for the most part, like it's a shame for the kids that don't have this, but you have like peace, you have joy, happiness. You don't have sadness and sorrow because you don't, you, don't, you shouldn't know what those things are as a five-year-old. And I didn't as a five-year-old. And I'm not, I guess what I'm trying to work through right now is how do you, how do you remain this like five-year-old with the joy and the happiness while experiencing life and learning and growing and changing? Because if you're, if you're learning and growing and changing, on the, on the, like, making you a better person, surely there has to be the counter of that. So is, is this whole thing about, like, allowing in the good stuff and just, just disregarding the bad stuff? That doesn't seem right. I don't feel like I can get on board with that. No, I'm going to, I'll keep thinking and I'll bring it back. But there was an interesting thing that happened yesterday. Well, first thing, this morning, I managed to edit just like the little cinematic or like little edit bit that was in yesterday's pod vlog. It was kind of fun. Like I enjoyed it. I sat there for like half an hour. It took me a while to get back into it because it's been a long time. It's probably been at least two, three years since I've, done any edit like that <laughs> and it's not amazing but you know it's a it's a start um, but I enjoyed doing that that was good fun I, I really liked that I also did wake up at just after four o'clock so I gave myself a bit of time to do a couple of things I was having a conversation with this lady at the hospital yesterday and she made the comment that she wasn't afraid of an altercation like she the the way she spoke about it and the way she'd been talking in the rest of our conversation i could see that she like she believed that and she was you know okay with that and i made the comment of like yeah i, I can see that too and there was a part of me that previously well i don't even know about previously but would have like oh my god oliver what a stupid thing to say you basically just said she's the type of person that you know, likes to get in altercations with people. I mean, yes, she said it, but that's also a seemingly mean thing for me to say. I forget where I was going with that now. Um...
I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I'll uh, come back to it if I remember. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. If you look at Casey, look here. I won't do this for the whole video. If you saw that in the middle of the street, you'd be like, that guy's a madman. Something wrong with him, he's delusional. But because it's someone who's got lots of subscribers and he is who he is, like you know who he is and he's successful, you're like, that's okay, he can do that. If I did that, people would think I'm a flipping loony man. Honestly, it looks like kind of a cool headset. Still want a booster board. That's wild. Yeah, I mean, your eyes are close. Your There's too much teeth, I think. I don't know. Um, I want to make a review. Come help me. All right, sounds good. All right, meet you downstairs at five. Right. I've always wondered how much of this is actually planned. All right, if you want has like, to a be. normal review of this thing, I can't recommend enough to go watch to go watch Marquez Brownlee's. His is fantastic. This is a different, like, I kind of have a different take on this and different questions, and that's what this is. But Marquez's is really good. What is this thing? Like those kind of planned shots where he like stays with the camera still while Casey walks past. I love that he just doesn't care what people think. It's so good, isn't it? How do you find it? I had it for like an hour. Yeah, okay. Can you put windows up now if you want to? Yeah, so like I can put a window up now, but when I start walking, they like go away. You reckon if you're Casey, someone like Casey, you can just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter what people think. I get a random pile of bricks, an old toilet, I found the restroom, and a bunch of random wooden poles. There's more poles. Who in the world is watching Mr. Beast videos? Aside from Casey right here. And as you can see, but later in this video, we're going to a hundred and also what are your thoughts on filming random people? Like just having them in the video? Strategy for interacting with people. They gaslight you into thinking. So if you're moving a lot while you're moving. This thing comes up that says tracking fail. So it doesn't track if you're moving a lot. So there's nothing for the sensors to like lock on to. It doesn't know where to put stuff. That's but interesting. Standing at a subway stop watching a Mr. Beast video is a pretty special, it's a pretty special experience. Hold on. I don't know anyone that watches Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast's videos and thoroughly loves them. I don't know anyone. Let me try to figure out how to... What do you think? It's interesting. I, I can't imagine... I can't imagine why you're looking at... Uh... I'm looking at you right now. Oh, okay. I can see you clear as day. You've got on a blue tie with a beautiful tie pin at the top. So I can see you. I get off here. Enjoy your adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Just New York City stuff. Uh, I opened up Apple TV, and it was like this window right here, Jordan. And as he started to move, the window went away with the back with the subway car. You can't use windows if you're in like a if there's a lot of like kinetic. Has he and I imagine blacked out? You're in like a yeah. You see up here, he's blacked out the Sony label which is quite interesting. So obviously Sony are refusing to partner with him or at least refusing to pay him so he's not... He did this with a Canada Goose jacket a while back as well. And I, I never understood if that was because he just didn't support the brand but liked the product or if because he, he was just like, I'm not giving you a free marketing. If they want it, they can pay for it. If there's a lot of like kinetic movement, and I imagine it works in an airplane because the airplane is so steady, but this is a subway and it's bouncing. So I gotta wait till we get there. Like you notice how 
he's talking about the experience, not anything about the actual like product or features. It's all how it's the product through his eyes, which is why, which is what makes a KC video, like a KC review, a KC review, I guess, because it's no one can do it the KC way because the main focus is actually Casey, not the Vision Pro. I'm listening Tether to my iPhone. It seems to be working well enough, but for some reason when I try to open Safari, it won't open. The camera's pretty good in such low light as well. Like this, that's... This is such a perfect example of like the lifestyle use for someone who's new to it. Like you get a text and you just stop in the middle. Like I wonder if this type of thing is planned out or if it just happens. And then I forget the filmer's name now. If he just like runs around, he's like, oh, I, this is a good point, I should capture this. Or if Casey's like, go up there, film me from, like, so you can see the perspective like how it looks to a random person. I was just responding to text messages. Planned, I think. <laughs> no way! You're the only person I wanted to be. In case he plays, in case he plays, I can't tell. Can you not tell? No way. Oh Literally, my, my god. god. We were like, we were just wanted to say. This is so weird. It's so weird. Like, I get that you might want to meet that person, but I find it so weird just to, like, interrupt them in what they're doing. Maybe that's just part of being a creator. But he seems like, Casey seems like, the way he's handling the situation. Oh, my God! He's just, like, he... This guy comes in, like, commanding all the attention, and then you have Casey, who's just like, okay, well... Let's get this over and done with, is what it seems like. And like, just grabs the phone out of his hand, like, let's get a picture. Like, his, let's get you what you want out the door and then I can move on. While making it seem like uh, this guy's being given the attention that he wants from Casey. I was having a chat with someone. Oh, yeah. You know what's really weird about people wanting a photo with a celebrity? I think it was actually Roy Keane, the football player, the Man United and Irish football player. And he was saying how... Like, why do you want a photo? You just want a photo to be able to brag to your friends that you've seen someone famous. And it's so right. I never thought about it like that. It's really not... Like, what are you going to do with that photo? Who cares to get a photo? It's only so you can tell other people that you've seen this person, as if like that's a cool thing. No way! I'm actually freaking out. The idea that I can have my whole like computer digital online world that exists. I do wonder how many times that happened while he was out and about. In the real world, that's what that's what feels like is bigger than AR or VR. Like I have the Oculus, it's great, but it definitely feels like a toy. This feels like a little glimpse into the future of what computing could be like down the road. Why is everybody staring at me? <laughs> Do I look as ridiculous as those people make me feel like I look? No, you're, just your eyes are glowing. <laughs> How you doing? Jordan, you're standing... This is, this is like serious, don't give an F type of feeling, isn't it? Of like, I don't care what anyone else thinks. Like, I'm doing the thing that I want to do. Like, it's, it's a... When I see it, I'm like, I'd love to be at that place. Make sure Rudy's back on. Okay, still sleeping. It seems so hard to get to. Come right there. Okay. Years ago, this used to be a bar. Yeah. Yeah, you want to walk under this... So the idea of spatial computing, it doesn't make sense to me when I'm sitting in my office. I've got multiple screens. But right now I'm like in the city. I'm in the middle of Times Square. I've got my virtual keyboard here. I've got Apple TV there. I've got YouTube Safari's open here. 
and it all kind of works. <laughs> like this? What I've got going on right now? This is wild. It's impossible for me to imagine that you can't see what I can see. Everything seems so real, and then I can just stand up. It's mental, isn't it? Like, it actually looks, it makes me want to have one, but I, well, like, well, I wouldn't bloody use it unless I'm doing, like, dishes or something. Like, the idea that you can be, you can be living reality while also be so immersed in everything, like, you, I mean, just imagine a time where you and your friends are sat around a table at a restaurant eating. You're not like, none of you are actually watching something. You're all like speaking to each other, but like your messages pop up and notifications pop up. And like you can, instead of having to pull out your phone and not that I ever do this, like I <laughs> probably annoy for my wife, but when I'm talking with people, I don't even look at my phone. Um, it, has to, it has to have her call me before I'll look at my phone mid conversation. Like you wonder how long it's going to be before this comes into a $500 pair of glasses, sunglasses. That would be unreal. I think there's a long way to go before we ever get to that, like battery power and obviously the tech specs of it. You're just walking around with a fat battery pack in your pocket with the cable that comes down from your sunglasses. It's all seemingly so random, isn't it, his style? Thank you. <laughs> Just uh, the contrast between what he's seeing and what everyone else is seeing. I like that. Butterflies eating my donut. <laughs> it's cool how it pops out. Honestly, this is mental tech. It's crazy. The concept for this video was to run around New York City wearing these, because I thought that would be funny. I think it was funny. But something happened. Something happened today that was completely unexpected. And that something I don't think anyone else has really touched on. None of the reviews I've seen or read, none of them really uh, uh, put to words what I experienced. So. When you take these off, they kind of go to sleep, like your phone. And when you put them back on, you have to unlock them. They scan your eyeballs, and then to start screen recording, go through the... It takes a second. So rather than doing that, I just left these on the entire day. Um, the, like, two-and-a-half-hour battery pack you can plug into a fatter battery, so I never ran out of battery power. And after a couple of hours of running around the streets of New York, as in not in a controlled environment, my brain sort of clicked and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens and it just it, it took what it saw as reality and that is where this just the, the toothpick that's on the table <laughs> what's going on down here <laughs> and why is that can so fat only got 10 calories though it's huge this that's where the that profound moment came from and what occurred to me as I was sitting there in Times Square on a bench, strangers all around me, the real world moving all around me. But I had like a big screen up where I was watching a Mr. Beast video. And then over here, I had this keyboard that I could interact with. And over here, I had my iMessages. And over here, I had my Apple TV and then all of my apps. And they're floating in Times Square in the middle of New York City. They're floating there and I'm actually there. And there's actual humans around me. And in that moment, 
I was like, holy shit, this is it. This is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like the last 15 years. This is something that like, hold on. Do da. Do da. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Let me like truly peek into where we're at, where all of this is going. This isn't the like the future of AR or VR. This is the I think this is the future interface for all computing. I think when they figure out how to make these not be these heavy four thousand dollar metal ski goggles. <laughs> but you know, maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller, that that is what it'll be. In the morning, you won't remember your phone. You put it on and then that's it. And it's like, hold on, I've got a call. Hey, what's up, mom? I'll call you back. You look great, by the way. And that's Later, what bitch. it's going to look like. And these show you that. These reveal that. I am like, as a kid. This makes me want to make videos in this style. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will make something similar. Just like, you know, my style. Yeah, maybe when Kobe's out the hospital. That was the thing I've been looking for forever. And they did it right here on a product that has like uh, a product that is so new. This has been out for 12 hours and I felt it. So I don't know that I recommend you should buy one of these at $4,000 because I can promise you this. This will be the worst Vision Pro Apple ever ships. It is going to get so much better. All right, then maybe I'll make another video that, that's, that, that makes more sense of this, but. <sighs> He's so charismatic, isn't he? He's such a charismatic person. That shit looks fire! <laughs> okay, I am... Um, uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to call the video for now. Uh, just... With so much going on, I don't have to think about it. It's not fair to think about it. So... I honestly, I don't know if there'll be a video tomorrow because I don't know what time I'm going to have. I'll be looking after Ruga the whole day. We'll see. Probably not, though. We'll see. <laughs>